Inventing Reality, Section Populist Electorate, Conservative Outcome By the 1988 election, the visible political climate created by government and media had shifted enough to the right so that Republican presidential candidate George Bush did not find it necessary to red-bait his liberal opponent, Democrat Michael Dukakis. It was enough to liberal-bait him. Bush promised to be the, quote, environment president, the education president, and the, quote, no more taxes president, but said nothing of substance about any of those matters. Indeed, he refused to discuss issues during the campaign. He also misrepresented Dukakis's position at every opportunity, and generally ran one of the dirtiest campaigns in modern times made all the more effective by the national media's faithful and uncritical coverage. Thus, in the notorious Willie Horton TV ads, Bush implied that Dukakis, then governor of Massachusetts, was soft on crime and was to blame for an overly permissive prisoner furlough program in his state. Even though the program had been installed by the previous governor, a Republican, and was no more liberal than the federal program under which Bush served as vice president. Bush blamed Dukakis for the terrible pollution in Boston Harbor, even though the harbor was under federal jurisdiction and was the responsibility of the Reagan-Bush administration. Subsection When polls aren't lit to print In 1980, when a Harris poll showed that most Americans, including persons who had voted for Reagan that year, were diametrically opposed to the conservative views of right-wing groups like the Moral Majority, the media suppressed the results as unnewsworthy. The Harris poll is distributed to 200 newspapers across the nation, but this particular poll appeared only in the Boston Herald American in December 5, 1980. When questioned about this, Carmen Hudson of the Lewis Harris Associates could give no explanation as to why material about such a topical issue had not been picked up by the national media. Based on Robert Dubrow, quote, Media Ignores Poll Refuting Right-Wing Claims, Worker's World, January 2, 1981. End of subsection. For his part, Dukakis proved to be one of the more ineffectual and insipid candidates ever to run for president. His media delivery was wooden and lacking in content. He showed himself lacking any instinct for the jugular and incapable of countering Bush's misrepresentations. Rather than proudly pointing to the historic liberal achievements of his party, he defensively shrank from being called a liberal and begged that there be no, quote, labeling. He and his Massachusetts staff repeatedly mismanaged the campaign, often succeeding in alienating Democratic organizations in other states. He ran television campaign ads that lacked clarity and punch and he spent most of his time making banal assertions about his leadership qualities. Beginning the campaign with an 18-point lead in opinion polls, Dukakis had the advantage of an electorate that seemed ready for change after eight years of Reaganism. But within a short time, he managed to fall well behind Bush in the polls. Only in the last two weeks did he belatedly introduce a populist spirit by advocating more equitable domestic programs and denouncing the privileges and powers of wealthy interests. These appeals began to rouse voters, but too little too late. Bush overwhelmingly defeated Dukakis. Overlooking the public's belated populist responses, the exceptional ineffectuality of the Democratic candidate, and the lack of enthusiasm for both candidates that brought a record low voter turnout, the press concluded that Bush's victory signaled yet another swing towards conservatism. 
while the media saw only conservative moods, an opinion poll in 1991 found people agreeing by an 84 to 13 percent margin that, quote, in recent years, the rich have been getting richer, and it's been harder for middle income and working families to get by, end quote. The polls showed majorities favoring national health care, more environmental protection, more occupational safety, and strong anti-recessionary action by government. End of section.